Okay. So here we are. Turn off Hi. the music. Yes, it did. How's it going? Very busy day today. Very busy. <laughs> Happy drive time. That's right. It uh, kicks us off a little late, and we're not even complaining about it. Nope. Here we are. <laughs> Our top story today is five reasons we're in anything but a normal housing market. That's right. There are many headlines out there um, that say we're reverting to a more re normal real estate market, but what does that mean? What is normal? Has there ever been a normal real estate market? You know, I got a little joke. <laughs> what are normal people? Oh, I know this one. What is it? People you don't know. Pe normal people are people you don't know very well. <laughs> that's normal people. Well, it's kind of like the normal real estate market that we're in. <laughs> yes, uh, that means nobody's normal, right? Okay. That's, all right. Yes, I've, I've heard that joke. I'm usually the, the brunt of that joke, so. <laughs> so anyway, the, the indicator. <laughs> The housing market seems to be returning to a, to a more of the numbers that are like 2015 and 2019 is why they're saying, you know, maybe we're going back into a normal market, but I don't know. We see that yet? No, not even close. Yeah, we, uh, the market is still extremely <laughs> vibrant. I like that word. It is vibrant where demand is outpacing supply, but supply is coming up. We have seen the market slow down a little bit in the last few weeks. I was back to school or, um, you know, this life when kids go back to school, back into a routine, but the market has slowed down a little bit in the past couple weeks. It really has. And as it's slowing down, we're not talking about slowing down, slowing down. We're just talking about it's less vibrant. It's <laughs> a good word. Huh? Yes. Than it was two <laughs> weeks ago. So it's not like, Hey, the market's slowing down and we have seen headlines that said, you know, it is slowing down and it's 5% less. And, you know, I've always heard it equated a lot of different ways, but 5% uh, less on breakfast, on consumption, on what you're eating, you're eating basically the same thing. It's just a little bit less. Does right. that make any sense? 5% less on consumption? Well, I like your, uh, your analogy <laughs> that you're going 100 miles an hour on the freeway and then you slow down to 70. Well, you're still going fast. Yes, as well. <laughs> I like that analogy too, but it sounds like we drive at 100 miles an hour on the freeway, and that's that's not right. Well, we do if we add yours and mine <laughs> together. Yes, that's true. <laughs> so anyway, the definition of normal, what is normal? What does that even mean? So from the Webster's Dictionary, normal means conforming to a type, standard, or regular pattern characterized by that which is considered usual, typical, and routine. Usual. Typical in routine. Okay, that's great. Is that what is that like a normal day in our life? Is usual, typical, and routine? Yes, that would like, be normal. That would mean people don't know us, right? Yeah, like never, <laughs> <laughs> ever. No, no, no. So anyway, the, using the definition, there are five industry metrics that we are going to talk about to prove that we're nowhere near normal. Okay, I like the metrics. Uh -huh. That uh, that takes a while. So let's start with mortgage rates. So let's lump them into ten-year increments. So we're going to look at the 1970s. 8.86 percent was the normal interest rate. If you take the 1970s, put them together. What if you put the 1980s together? Wait, it was 12.7. Anybody buy a house in the 80s? 12.7. Well, that seems rather exorbitant. It seems crazy now. Some of our clients weren't even alive in the 80s. <laughs> That's right. 1990s, 8.12%. And in the 2000s, 6.29. And then if we drop to the 2010, so 2010 to 2020, it was? 4.09. Okay, so that means we come to a rate today of 2.87 percent. I mean under three percent. It's just crazy. These are historic low interest rates right now. Yeah it is. I mean people still have to you know service the loan. They still have to accept your payments. They still got to pay somebody to do that and there's just not much room left at 2.87 percent interest. Average interest rate. That's right. The uh, number two 
home price appreciation. We have seen greater home price appreciation in the last couple years than we have seen ever. Uh, the normal data since 1995, since they've tracked it, annual average um, home appreciation is 4.14%. Well, when we take the latest forecast from National Association of Realtors, home price appreciation this year is going to be 14.1%. And if you look at it from last year here in Ventura County, it was more around 20% home price appreciation in 2020. Well, yeah, the 4.14% since 1995 was kind of a little shocking. I thought it was closer to 3%, but if we just go from 95 to basically this year, this last year, 2020, we're looking at 4.1%, and then the last year it's 14%. So that- No, the forecast for this year is 14.1. Oh, so that's 2021. Oh, okay. But in 2020 in Ventura County, it was 20%. But these are national, these are NAR, National Association of Realtors numbers, but still that is huge, 14% nationally? Well, yeah. That's well, huge. Well, 4% is you know nothing that you would run, you wouldn't run and put your money in the bank for 4%, even though they're not even paying that now, you know, is better than a lot of other places you could be on a consistent basis. Well, you might run and put it in there if the bank would pay you 4% <laughs> instead of what, negative? They yeah. can charge you to put your money, your money in the bank now. Yeah, half a percent. No, they will. They do it, Japan. <laughs> oh my gosh! But we do uh, analysis on price appreciation. They usually use around three or four percent when you do, um, you know, mathematical equations to see what the appreciation will be. But fourteen is huge. <laughs> it is. So, month supply of inventory. That's homes for sale. Now they say an average market at six months homes supply of homes on the market and we haven't seen that in our county I don't ever. know e ever, ever. Uh, we might have seen that 2007 uh, 8 maybe. 9 maybe uh, they were pricing them very aggressively back then a lot of REOs but uh, if we're looking at national statistics six months is average supply of homes. Are you saying that's normal? That's normal. Normal would be six months, <laughs> yes. but it never is. <laughs> it's, it's never it never normal. is six months. <laughs> that would be usual, typical, or routine. Well, and the current month supply nationally is 2.6 months supply, just to tell you what it is now, nationally. Again, NAR statistics. Yep, it is, and that uh, seems like in our area, Ventura County, that it is growing slightly, slightly. A little. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> oh my good goodness. Number four, days on market. Days it takes to sell your home. So again, days on mar market, let's you know in 2019, the average days on market was 35. And I would think that might be a little low. It just depends. Depends on price point too. Of course, lower priced homes tend to stay on the market less time than the more expensive homes. But then since the, since the pandemic, um, the more expensive homes are flying off the shelves too. So uh, that all rolled together means now the average days on market is 17. We've seen it in Ventura County as low as seven on the reports that we read, the average days on market all the way down to seven days. So we'll see um, our numbers come out next week to see what you know how they're trending after the summer. We get the numbers, you get the numbers. That's right, so we'll give you the numbers next week. Uh, they are coming out. As soon as we get them. So, the number of offers per listing. That's number five. Yes, it is. And that was stood at 2.2 number of offers in 2019. And that has gone up dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're looking to double that, 4.5 average offers per listing. So, that means you're competing. Basically, every time you make an offer, there's uh, three and a half other offers out there. The half offer, very difficult to compete with, but they do compete. <laughs> We're seeing that uh, that is not quite as much of a frenzy as it was earlier in the year, um, but there are multiple offers. If the property is in good shape, clean, price right, you are seeing multiple offers. So this is still a great time to be a seller. And again, great time to be a buyer as appreciation keeps climbing and interest rates are so low. That's right. Yes, we call them the listing agent. Hey, we've got an offer for you. Oh, terrific. It's the only one I got. They call us back within two hours. So I got three more. Right. So that's just the way the cookie crumbles on that. So bottom line, the reasons 
Uh, this is not a normal mar market, but I don't know what that is. But right now, number one is mortgage, ra mortgage rates are near historic lows. Price appreciation is at an all-time high. Number three, housing inventory is less than half of normal. The time it takes to sell a home, cut in half. And there are twice as many offers on homes when they are uh, listed. That's right. So that is the top five reasons. And give us a shout. Yeah, we love to talk about real estate. We have lots of new listings coming on the, this week. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, let's talk. You know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.